Hi there, my name is Valentine and first of all thank you for joining me Hi there, my name is Valentine and first of all I wanted to thank you for joining me for this live tutorial on Postman. In this video I wanted to show you how you can work with objects and variables in Postman. So let me quickly explain you what I'm trying to do. So let's imagine in Postman you want to submit a post request with a specific body. And let's just imagine that this and let's just imagine that that body needs to be in JSON format. So what you need to do in that case is to go here over the method and select post. And the moment you do that, here another tab will be available, that is the body tab. And once you click it, you will see here even more options, but don't get scared. What you are going to do in this case, because we want to post a JSON format to the backend server, is to select row. Now, the moment we select row, we'll see this editor window and we have some different possibilities we can select. Now, by default, there is text selected, but actually what we are going to do is use JSON for this case. And actually nothing changes in the first time you just select JSON, but if you put here a JSON object, it will look basically like this. And you will get this nice highlighting and you will know every time maybe you make a maybe you make a next mistake or something like that. So you get instant feedback if you're editing that. So this is basically the first step that you need to do in order to submit a request that actually accepts JSON. And now I'm using example.com because I don't really have a backend server that I can use. But I will use the console which you can find here below. And uh, when I have the console started, I can actually see exactly what's going on. So I will submit this request. And then in the console, I will be able to see exactly what has been sent out. And you will see here that the request headers is properly set to application JSON, and this is exactly what we wanted. And this is then the request body. Switching back here, let's imagine that we want to make, that we want to actually use a variable. And for that, we can basically use the pre-request script. And I will open the panel here and create an environment variable. And just set environment variable, name here. And let's put John Doe. Now the way that you can use this variable is to use this double curly brackets. And put here name. Submit the request again. I'm looking here in the request body. You'll see here that John Doe was properly sent. So what happened here in the pre-request script, I have the possibility of defining variables and I can assign them any values and because this is a pre-request script I can do basically any computations and or anything that I actually need in order to get that uh, variable to look the way you want to do. And this is especially useful if you're doing any random thing or you want to do anything that really generates unique data and the best thing to, to do it is to actually do it here. Now let's imagine that our scenario gets a bit more complicated. And one of these complications could be, for example, that we add an address. And the address itself will be an object as well. So let's imagine that we have a property called street. Number. zip code okay and let's let's leave it like that for this moment now it's perfectly fine to do that this way but just in case you want to set your own street or your own street number or your own zip code or country or whatever else you want to set to have dynamic variables for each and every one of these would mean 
like setting, generating this variable, setting the environment variable, and everywhere getting the, the variable. So in the, if, we define, if we define in advance something like street, and you will have to have still street and then number another variable. So you will get crowded with a lot of variables here. And I want to show you another way on how you can actually do it. So let me just extract this from here, just for a second. Go to the pre script. Let's imagine that I define a variable called address. And this variable will be actually an object which has different properties. And I can totally decide on how to set those properties. I will actually not get into this, but this is basically plain JavaScript code. You can do anything you want with this object. So I'm just taking it for granted and saying that's being initialized. So I want to generate here an object, an address object, and to use the entire object in the body. And the way we're going to do this is like that. We're going to just remove the entire block here. And using double curly brackets, I will just point here to this address variable, which we haven't actually set yet. So again, using the environment variable, I will just set the address. And there's a, one more thing that I need to do in advance, and that, that is to actually stringify this object. So for that, I'm going to use a JavaScript object called uh, json.stringify. I'm going to place the address as an object here. And let me quickly clear the console so that you can add it. my script. Okay, let's see. So the request went. You will see here that in the request body I'll have an address. This is the exact address that I have posted. So with this trick what you can do is to get generate an object in your pre-request script like I did with address and just post the entire object. And of course, what I can do here is even reduce this. So basically, I can replace the entire object. So if I just want to replace the entire body, I can just use here variable. Oops, quickly deleted. I can just use here the body variable if I decide to define it in the pre request script. And I can generate the entire JSON object that is needed for this request in the pre request script. And that is actually quite powerful. And I invite you to try it out and see how it works. Thank you for watching and staying for this live tutorial. I hope you find it useful and see you at the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more news and updates on Postman. If you want to learn more about Postman and use it at its full potential, I invite you to check out my online course on Postman. I have tried to structure everything you need about Postman in to follow online course. There I will take you from learning how to use Postman for creating requests to writing tests, using variables, dealing with authentication and eventually towards using Postman as a solution to fully automate your REST API testing process by using tools such as Newman, Jenkins and any other continuous integration tools. During the entire course I will keep you engaged with quizzes and assignments and provide you personal feedback on how you're doing. Make sure you check this video description for a link and I'm really looking forward to seeing you inside.